Take a look at this judge. As the currency market cap provides a summary of all that is addressed in this film regarding the XRP case, Torres thinks that it is reasonable to proceed. Ripple Labs and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission have submitted a variety of discovery files in federal court. These records include post-complaint XRP institutional sales and complete financial statements. Uh, the purpose of these materials is to prevent uh, documents related to Ripple remedies from being made available to the general public. Uh, it was decided by a federal judge that the redactions in the modified schedule were to be included in the document that was linked to the judge who was in charge of remedies. The order to keep the briefing that was related to remedies confidential was granted by Judge Annalisa Torres. Paris believed uh, that the issues between the parties may be settled peacefully by extending the XRP case to the new dates as stated in a court record that was dated March 20. Thanks to Lisa Torres, the judge granted the order and the joint request that Ripple Labs and the SEC had submitted to resolve sealing concerns relating to the imminent remedies related briefing by the attorneys representing both the plaintiffs and the defendants. The concept will ensure that the general public will have prompt access to the pleadings of both parties, albeit with certain redactions. It is anticipated that the SLIC, uh, Ripple, and other parties will discuss redaction requirements with the XRP Army and the cryptocurrency community. However, the XRP Army and the community will be kept in the dark regarding critical topics as a result of the judge's judgment. As far as Tories is concerned, XRP does not constitute a security in and of itself. Even though educated individuals think that the subject matter of the litigation between Ripple and the CC is not particularly significant, the primary focus of the lawsuit continues to be on post-complaint XRP sales. The cost of the act may be affected if the lawsuit between the SEC and Ripple Labs gets drawn out for a longer period. After the parties have submitted their reply papers, they have requested a timeline for the redactions that will be performed on March 22nd. The Securities and Exchange Commission will file under seal its opening REM-related brief, which will also include supporting statements and exhibits. On the 26th of March, the C will present a public version of the brief that has been redacted in compliance with the redactions that were requested by the parties and third parties. With this information, it appears that the discussion and conflict will continue until May 6th. This coming week, Ripple is going to present a version of its opposition brief together with documentation that has been suppressed. Tuesday, April 22, the CC is scheduled to submit its rebuttal brief under seal on May 6th. Furthermore, until May 20, parties and their parties are required to file letter motions and opposition relating to sealing details in the filings of the sex's objections to Ripple and other unexpected filings would further extend the duration of law. In addition, Judge Torres can deliberate and decide the SEC claims regarding the penalty for post-complaint sales of the XRP institution as a consequence of this. The litigation will continue to be litigated for several additional months. And the ultimate judgment may be handed down by Judge Torres at some point in the following year. This ruling is comparable to the one that was made on July 13, 2023, which stated that XRP is not a security and that Judge Torres takes more time for summary judgment. According to the most recent court filing, Ripple Labs and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission have jointly submitted a motion to seal key information that is contained within the briefing that is linked to remedies. It has been requested by the solicitors for both the plaintiffs and the defendants that the plan be approved. This is because it will guarantee that the public will have quick access to the briefs of the parties, albeit with certain redactions. The continuous conflict between the two organs has reached a crucial new stage with this new development. Beside an additional point of interest is that the parties have proposed a time frame for redactions, which will take place after the submission of reply papers to the opening brief about remedies that was issued by the Securities and Exchange Commission on May 6. The opening remedies related brief has been submitted under seal by the Securities and Exchange Commission between the dates of March 22. This brief includes supporting statements and documents. If the request is granted, some information on Ripple's financial accounts and post-complaint XRP institutional sales may be concealed from the XRP army and the community of cryptocurrency enthusiasts. This will inevitably affect the market sentiment. Until the 22nd of April, everyone has the opportunity to submit their opposition to the brief. And the 26th of March, SESI will publish a public version of the brief that has been redacted in compliance with the redactions that were sought by parties and third parties. It is anticipated that the parties will get together within the next few days up until the 20th of May 
To address additional redactions and submit a version of the reply brief that has been redacted, the parties, as well as any third parties that may be involved, are obligated to submit written motions and propositions about the sealing of details and the filings. As a consequence of this, the legal proceedings will continue for several additional months and Judge Torres may issue the final verdict at some point during the following financial year. Ripple is going to provide a version of their opposing brief as well as materials that have been excluded from the submission. On May 6th, the CCI is going to file its response brief, which will be delivered under seal. During the period in which cryptocurrencies in general saw a correction from their recent highs, the token that controls the seventh largest cryptocurrency ecosystem by market value saw its hopes of reaching $1 in March shattered. The price of XRP will continue to serve as the platform upon which the ecosystem is built. Around the same time as the price of Bitcoin dropped to approximately $60,000, the value of XRP experienced a precipitous decline from its all-time high of 7,484 in 2024. Ethereum, on the other hand, had a significant decline going from more than $4,000 to $350. Even if it has dropped by 15%, the price of XRP has remained unchanged at $5,835. Multiple four-hour candles have fallen below the important barrier of six cents, which indicates that the negative trend is continuing. Considering that Ripple and SEC deadlines are growing closer and closer, it is possible that forecasts for the price of XRP have not yet been completed. It is possible that recent developments in the litigation between Ripple, the company that launched XRP, and the Securities and Exchange Commission, a regulatory body in the United States, will affect the future of digital currency. Especially now when you know both sides are required to fulfill substantial deadlines. Uh, this is especially true. The legal records of the Securities and Exchange Commission will continue to be kept behind closed doors until April 24. This is done to ensure that trade secrets are protected and that sensitive corporate data is not made available to the general public. Uh, it has been mentioned by professionals in the field of law that it is necessary to take these steps. While this is going on, the Securities and Exchange Commission has until the 7th of May to present its argument. On May 8, certain materials will be made available to the general public. Please take notice of this notification and to monitor any difficulties that may arise in connection with the impending briefing on remedies that will be presented in this case. All of the parties participating in the action have submitted a joint proposal to cease the litigation. Uh, this is because the suggestion was brought forward sooner. A uh, cryptocurrency expert indicated in a recent post that the rising trend of the coin backed by Ripple, which is due to its scalability, will continue until April. This tendency is due to the asset's ability to scale. As a result of this, a uh, considerable amount of speculation has been generated. Contrary to the forecast of the analyst, XRP saw a decline yesterday that brought it below the crucial six cents mark. This concept was supported by the drop in Dark Defender, which was consistent with earlier forecasts of an upcoming potential one target that matched the analyst share on platform X. This hypothesis was compatible with the earlier projections.